This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this frost effect using GIMP, where it appears as if uh, half of the person's face here is frozen and covered with ice. And in order to follow along with this tutorial, you'll need to download and install a specific plugin for GIMP called uh, Gimmick or Gimmick, I'm not sure what it is, it's GMIC. I'll have a link to that in the description of the video along with instructions for how to install it. It's pretty simple, so just go ahead and install that and then we'll be good to get started. So uh, I'll open up uh, GIMP here, and as you see, I have the image that I'll be using. If you'd like to use this image as well, I'll have that linked in the description of the video as well. Uh, just to make sure you have the extension installed properly, you go to Filters, and you should see uh, Gimmick right there. And once we've done that, I'm just gonna right-click on this layer and make sure there's an alpha channel. Go ahead and click Add Alpha Channel. If it's grayed out, that means you already have one, you're good to go. And what I wanna do is, I want to create a duplicate of this layer. So I'm going to click on the button right here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And I'm going to make this copy black and white. So I'll go to colors, desaturate, and I'll go ahead and click OK. So we have a black and white copy. And what I'll do next is I'm going to go to filters, gimmick, and let me see if I could shrink this down. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so we have this extension open. And what I'm going to do is, let me make that a little bigger. I'm going to go to, let me close this. I'm gonna to go to artistic, and I'm going to choose uh, colored pencils right here. And it's gonna give a preview here, as you'll see. I'm gonna zoom out a little, see if I can zoom out a little bit. I don't normally work at this resolution, so um, this is a little different for me. Okay, so we have that effect right there. You can use these sliders to adjust it, like the size. You can increase that a little bit. Or you can increase the amplitude a little bit. Or if you don't like what you've done, if you've gone a little too far with the edits, you can just click this button to set it back to its default. Uh, I think the default looks pretty good, so I'm just going to leave that as it is and go ahead and click Apply. And it's going to work and do its thing. And once it's done, you can close out of that, and you can see it applied it to that image. And what I want to do now is... I want to create a new layer and edit on top of here. So I'm going to click this button that says create a new layer. We're going to want transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And I want to change this foreground color to a shade of blue. This is the shade I'm using right here. If you want to type in this code, it's 048EF9. Or you could use a similar shade of blue to that. It doesn't have to be that precisely. But if you'd like to follow along with what I'm doing, you can go ahead and use that. Go ahead and click OK. And now we'll go to edit fill with foreground color and that's going to make our entire canvas blue and what we want to do now is come up here where it says mode and change that to soft light and that's pretty much going to make the image beneath it tinted with that blue shade and once we've done that i'll right click on this blue layer and go to merge down so it combines into one layer and what i want to do now is i want to sharpen this up a little bit so i'm going to go to filters um enhance and sharpen and I'm going to use maybe 50 for this image it depends on which image you're using for this particular photo I'm going to use 50 for your if you're using a different photo you might want to play around with it a little bit I'm just going to go ahead and click OK we just want to add a little bit of sharpness in here the idea is to have this uh, this um, this part of the face where it looks like it's like cracking and dry from being frozen like that um, okay so that's done what I'll do now is I'm going to right click on that layer and go to add layer mask and I want to choose black full transparency and then go ahead and click add and once we've done that it's going to make that entire blue area disappear and we're going to use the white brush to color it in where we want it to appear so I'm going to flip these brushes around so we have white as the foreground I'm going to grab the paintbrush and I'm going to choose this softness brush over here and let me zoom in a little bit by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel uh, I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to come right down the center of the face here and brush that in because we just want this effect going through half of the face, and we want the other half to be um, normal as you see it there. Let me undo some of that and try this again. So we want like a really smooth transition is what I'm getting at. Okay, so once we have that nice transition there, I'll go ahead and just color in the rest of his head right there like that. Okay, that's pretty good. And that's starting to look pretty good, but we still have a little bit to go. I'm gonna add a few more details to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this original image down here and I'm gonna create a duplicate of that layer. 
by clicking this button down here. And then I'll click and drag this to the top so it's layered on top. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to remove the color. I'll go to Colors, Desaturate. Go ahead and click OK. And we'll go to Filters and we'll go back to the Gamic extension. And this time, instead of Colored Pencil, we're going to use Dream Smoothing. And this may take a minute or two to, to load up on your machine. It's, it, it takes a few seconds for me. Um, that's pretty good right there. The defaults look pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and click apply, uh, OK. And give it a second to do its thing. And there we go. Uh, so what I want to do now is, with this effect, there's a little bit, like, like the whites are bleeding out a little bit too much. If you look around, like the, uh, the edge of his head is bleeding out a little too much. I want to adjust this using the curves. So we'll go to colors, not the curves, the levels. Colors, uh, levels, and I want to take this arrow over here to the, to the left and just bring that in a little bit to the right. And I'll take this one over here, I'll bring this in a little bit as well. And I'll take this middle arrow and adjust that as needed. Let me bring this in a little more. You may just have to play around with it a little bit just to get it right. What we're looking for is something like that right there with nice, crisp contrast and, and good white highlights and everything like that. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. I'll go ahead and click OK to apply that. And again, I'm going to create a new layer on top of that. We're going to use transparency. And I'm going to go to, since we already have that blue sitting there as a background color, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to edit, fill, edit, fill with background color. Set the uh, mode to uh, soft light. Right click on the layer and go to merge down. Oops, let me get rid of that. Um, okay, and again, we're going to add a layer mask to this just like we did before. So I'm going to right click on this and go to add layer mask. And again, we're going to use black with full transparency. Go ahead and click and add. And again, I'm going to grab the white brush. Let me zoom in on this. Uh, let me bring the size of this brush down. And for this one, I'm just going to color it in around the very far edges. The idea with this layer is for it to be sort of like, um, sort of like a, uh, like, like, like ice that's been formed over the face here. So I'm just going to fill this in around the edges like that. Maybe around some of like the uh, like the eyebrow and like the corner of the mouth, like the lip right there, something like that. Or maybe not. If you want to erase it, you can just make uh, you can just make your background color black. Switch that around to the foreground, and you can erase out part of that area. I think it looks better without that. So uh, let me erase some of this in here as well. And come to think of it, I got to click on this layer and get some of that blue off the collar of his shirt as well. That doesn't really need to be there. Let me go back to this layer, erase some of that out a little more. And that's looking a little better. And what I want to do now is, with this layer selected, I'm going to go to Filters, Enhance, and Sharpen. And for this one, I'm going to use 60. See how that looks. Go ahead and click OK. That looks a little better. So that kind of looks like glossy ice that's formed around the side of his face. So um, the next step would be to add a little bit of uh, like icicles right here. If you notice, like there's a little bit of like a frozen ice dripping down from the side of his face. I'm going to go ahead, and go ahead and add that. So to do that, I'm going to create another duplicate of this original image down here. Bring that back to the top. Repeating the same steps pretty much. We're going to go to colors. Um, desaturate. And we'll go back to the Gamic extension. And for this one, I'm going to use, let me close out of Artistic. I'm going to go down to Deformations, I think it is, and Wind. Here we go down here, Wind. Or you know what? No, we're not going to use Wind just yet. We're going to go back to Artistic, and we're going to use uh, Brushify. I forgot we got to do this one first. Brushify, the default settings right here, this should work pretty well. Go ahead and click uh, OK to apply that. And as you can see, we've applied that. Now what we want to do is just edit this a little bit with the uh, levels. We want to create some separation between the white areas of the image and the black areas of the image. So I'm going to use the level adjuster to uh, make that happen. Basically what we're doing is everywhere where you see white, that's going to be uh, where, where frost 
or not frost, like icicles are, are hanging down. So I'm going to go with something like that right there. I'm really paying attention to the left side of the face because that's what's going to be left. That's what's, that's what's left. That's where the effect is really going to be. Um, maybe I'll make that a little more. And you may have to play around with it a little bit just to get it right. I think for this particular image, that looks good right there. I'll go ahead and click Apply or OK. And now I'll go back to the, uh, the gimmick extension and use the, uh, let me close out of Artistic. I'll go back to uh, the wind the wind uh, filter here. There we go, just like that. And the settings I'm using here for this one are 50, the amplitude 55, 99.72, 0.41, 91.30, brighter, all, none, full. So go ahead and use those specific settings. I had to tweak this around a little bit uh, to make this work for this image here. Go ahead and click OK. And now what I want to do is I want to set this to set this layer to screen to see how that looks. And if you toggle the visibility of it off and on, you'll see the difference. There's like some ice hanging down there, but I want to get rid of some of it on the areas where it doesn't really belong. So I'm going to go to the eraser tool. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to erase it from the areas. Like, for example, it doesn't make sense for to have it hanging straight down from his hair because his hair is going in different directions like that. I'm going to erase it from this side of his face. I'll leave it right there around his mouth. That looks okay. I'll erase it from here. I'll get rid of this down here. And I'm going to make this brush a little smaller. If you want, you could just touch this up a little bit. Like if you notice, it looks like it's uh, hanging down a little too, a little too low. You can just, you know, lighten it up a bit. You see how that looks. And you can just toggle on the visibility and see how it looks. I think right there, that looks pretty good. And that pretty much does it for the frost effect. The one final step would be to add some snow. If you want to add some snow to this image just for an added touch, I'll show you how to do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer, transparency. And if you notice, I have black as the foreground color. I'm just going to fill this all in with black. I'll go to edit, fill with foreground color. And what I'm going to do now is go to filter, noise, HSV noise. And these are the settings I'm going to use right here. 3, 180, 0, and 255. Go ahead and click OK. And then I'll go to um, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to use 5. Go ahead and click OK. And then we'll go to colors, levels, and I want to take this and bring this in a little bit. And I'll take this one over here and bring that in as well. We're really paying attention to this curve here. We want to put the arrows at the ends of these curves right here. I'll bring that to the right a little bit. And you've, as you bring this over, you're going to start to notice it starts to look like snow. So I'll maybe bring this in to get more of it or bring it out to get less of it. I think I think right there is a good amount. That looks pretty, pretty much like snow. I'll go ahead and click OK. And for this layer, we just want to set the mode to screen. And then that'll show over as snow. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to take the eraser and I'm going to get rid of the snow from the right half of him because it's only the, the whole effect is happening on the left side. So I think it makes sense to have the snow only on the left side. So um, there we go. We've gotten rid of that. And that pretty much does it for this tutorial. That's how you can create this uh, frost effect using Gibbs. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.